uh, this is the uh, second, no, the third big installment of Mega Brain. We're here to solve some of the world's biggest problems. And uh, the, uh, the individuals on my right, Mark Sanchez and Beer Buddy, are well known. And uh, we've got the famous, I don't uh, I think he's a Greek historian, Herodotus, the Hybris Buster. He's going to bust any false pride you may have. Let's uh, put it all on the table here. What do you got to say? Beer Buddy. Mark Sanchez. Hey, I've got nothing to say except where's my money, and you haven't been paying me enough beer and smokes lately to be even here. Like, you're lucky I'm even here today, and this beer is warm. I heard there was going to be, uh, like, buffalo wings or chicken wings or some shit. That I haven't seen uh, anything. Yeah, that's Bobo for you. He, he promises the lies, and then he delivers with lies. That's all he does. I'm about to get worked up. I'm, I'm about worked up. I'm about ready to walk off the set. Are you saying he should run for president with those qualifications? He, he should. Who? What's going on? Uh, maybe maybe Bobo should run or Beer Buddy should run. Beer Buddy would be better president. Hey, I thought, I thought you had some problems with the, the fact that we brought in somebody new. I have problems with this guy here because he, he told me I was getting, your buddy was getting a new fucker. And what? Another dude? I told you, Bobo, no more dude floppers. Fuck that shit. I need some female mouse to fluff my. Yeah. I have to forgive it that the, these two gen uh, gentlemen here are running an adult chat room for money. Yeah. Lots of and they were troubled by the fact that you do not have, do you have your professional acting credentials, Herodotus? No. <laughs> okay. In my age, they didn't have those. In my age, I think they just, think they just had the choir that came on. What's, What's this about, about actors? Who are they? Yeah, you get the money. Oh, well, I can't condemn you for your motives. Uh, I got to ask a question here, uh, Herodotus. Uh, where'd you get those glasses? They are uh, some weird uh, looking pieces there. I can't, if I knew who you were, I still couldn't tell who you were. Yeah, that's the real big important question. You say you're going to answer big questions, talking glasses. Shit. Hey, here, buddy, what do you think of this Bible guy and his BS? This ain't even solving any big question problem stuff like things. Hey, well, I, uh, Buffalo. Program, Bobo. Probably okay, but. Glasses, big glasses to help hold them on. Oh, I guess that is big. Those look like, um,. Let me spitball here for a second. Herodotus, your glasses look like uh, safety glasses that you use in uh, not home ec, but uh, the other thing. Uh, the, are, are, you, uh, are you doing the thing with the welding and stuff? I mean, uh, what? No, not yet. Uh. Back when I was uh, substituting... I refused to, uh, to to do certain jobs because uh, I knew if I did them that the, uh, the kids would injure themselves by blowing up uh, acetylene balloons. I, I know how kids are. If you're teaching English, the worst that can happen is, and it's going to happen eventually, is a kid will run across the floor and will trip and will shove a pencil deeply into their head. That is my chief fear in an English class. I call it entertainment. I guess the numbers aren't up on me uh, for having the kid uh, 
get the eye in his, or the pencil in his eye, but uh, I once went to a substitute for an agricultural class and learned that the teacher also taught some classes of welding, so I sat around the welding room and kept telling people to put their goggles on, reminded them, pretend like I otherwise knew what was going on. You know, I, I have to admit, I have to admit, if, if, I, if a kid falls and shoves a pencil in their eye, that could be a teachable moment. You could bring up, well, did you ever hear the story of the Cyclops? This kid oh, here, yeah. this kid just, yeah. Herodotus, this is your, this is your bread and butter. Is, yeah, it is. I should have, uh, well, it's never happened, but I'm ready for it now. Cyclops, code for you know what, down in his pants. Oh, I got to ask. One eye, one eye, huh? I haven't thought that was lying, but uh, maybe there is one eye there for others. But um, you know what would be strange if this kid falls with two pencils and impales both eyes? I would say that's that's less likely than a shark attack in Montana, but not impossible. Kids are yeah. crazy. Well, that would be a clear case of humorous, running with two pencils instead of just humbly running with one pencil. Moderation! Moderation! Yeah, I, I'm glad that you're setting the boundaries, because for 2017, for, for kid safety, i got to hand it to you. That is some great recommendation there.